Besides you and uh, Mrs. Goddard, hmm. the only other people I know here are the Martins of Abbey Mill Farm. Mrs. Martin had two parlors and an oven maid and eight cows. <laughs> Mr. Martin used to cut fresh flowers every day. How lucky for Mrs. Martin to have such an agreeable husband. Oh, Miss Woodhouse, Mr. Martin is not her husband. He is her son. Ah, I see. Then he is... unmarried. Hmm, though I cannot understand why. He seems perfect in every particular. He brought me walnuts once and went three miles to get them just because he heard me say I liked them. <laughs> Wasn't that kind? <gasps> Tell me more about Mr. Martin. Is he a man of information? Oh, yes. He reads the agricultural reports, and I recommended he read the Romance of the Forest, and he said he would. And what sort of looking man is he? Mm, I thought him very plain at first, but I do not think so now. Have you never seen him when he's in town? Family like the Martins are precisely the sort of people with whom I have nothing to do. A degree or two lower, and I might be useful to their families, but a farmer needs none of my help, and is therefore as much above my notice as he is below it. In fact, the Miss other... Woodhouse, there he is now. How do I look? Fine, dear. Good enough, I'm sure, for Mr. Martin. Good day. Well, this is a bit of a chance, isn't it? Good day, Mr. Martin. Miss Woodhouse, may I present Mr. Martin? This is Miss Woodhouse. Good day. How do you do? Uh, were you able to find the romance of the forest? Oh, blast. I forgot. <laughs> um, but I go again tomorrow, and I will make every effort to get that thought into my head. <laughs> How was your mother? Really, Harriet, I can do better than this. She proposed that we form a musical club. Is it possible that Mr. Elton met her while doing charitable work in a mental infirmary? <sighs> there is only one thing to do with a person as impossible as she. What? I must throw a party for her. Otherwise, everyone will feel at once how much I dislike her. <laughs>